hello everyone welcome to this video uh, the topic over here is how to localize mozilla strings in mozilla so we have a project called pontoon in mozilla so when you head back to uh, pontoon.mozilla.org you will find this website and uh, i'll make a separate vi video related to what is localization and what is localization in mozilla so that is two different thing uh, what you expect what you see is like uh, whatever you translate in localization it doesn't mean that it has the same uh, translation version is being ex uh, is being accepted in mozilla so without any further ado i'll explain what this tool is and how uh, how things do we do in uh, look pontoon mozilla so before that i'll uh, have a uh, take a tour uh, of this website and i'll explain what things are in pontoon.mozilla.org so here you'll find this is the tutorial section uh, once i do the exact project you'll find what things are and what we do in things okay so just to get started i have a playground things we'll select for the missing part hi there so this is the exact uh, dashboard of mozilla pontoon here you will find the main title toolbar main toolbar here this is the exact like language which we are translating and which projects we are on and which projects we do all those things we have it here next is the string list where you will find all the strings listed over here like whether it is being translated or not it is missing it is under review or all those process and apart from that there is a filter called where you'll find all those things listed translated fuzzy warnings errors missing so translated are those which has been translated from their the original english to some other things and it's been accepted fuzzies are those which which we say that there is some technical issues like uh, there is some uh, warnings from the system side and warnings and fuzzy is somewhat similar where you'll find that some ha somebody has not been following the guidelines properly and if something comes on the error section there is like they have done wrong translation and if you find that something is missing that it's it needs to be done and once you done uh, once you submit your things it will be under unreviewed section next is the editor here this is the editor space and this is the main area where you'll write okay and this is history section where you'll see that how many people have translated before you to any missing content whether it's not been approved which, whichever is been approved or not then you'll you'll see or uh, under the history section next is the machinery section where you'll find that whatever things like let's say keep translating has been uh, uh, translated by google translate and you will find sometimes it is been translated by bing translate as well other next part is the locale section where you will find that the same string has been translated to some other languages in different form so here you will find just for the reference that whether they are following the guideline or not let's say if uh, we ask to say that the brand name has to be in same language like the english language so here the brand name is pontoon so all the things has been translated in chinese but not the pontoon similarly in hindi we will be following all those stuff so that was the basic setup of how how things works so let's head back to pontoon.mozilla.org and we'll sign in and uh, once you click on sign in you will be asked to uh, uh, if you do not have a firefox account you will create one and let's say i have a firefox account and uh, i'll sign in and once you sign in the initial time when you sign in you'll ask you'll be asked to select your team uh, i usually contribute to Ur urdu language that's why my team automatically my dashboard seems to uh, redirect me to urdu team so once you go select here go to the team section and select uh, type hindi and select this hindi locale once you select this you you'll see that all the projects has been listed over here by the mozilla which is currently under the uh, localization project so let's say there is a project all those projects amo firefox firefox account all these these are the projects name and we have a deadline over here so for firefox there is deadline of january 15 that means that all strings whatever here it needs to be translated to uh, it needs to be translated before or on that date and we have a priority section how much what um, like the number of stars increases the priority increases is the same and what was the latest activity over here so latest activity was one hour ago by some person so here are the things again uh, listed over here so you will select on missing when you click on missing you you will see that all those missing strings will be here so 
see somebody has suggested for particular things let's say why i am seeing this uh, they have somebody has suggested for this and if you find that this is not correct you can also suggest yours like your suggestion your translation okay so this is how things we do in translation so and before following other details there are some particular guidelines which you need to do you need to follow and also if you see that i uh, still want to see some other filters just click on this here you'll see all those stuff like even on a particular tag on a tag basis also you can translate on a on a translator like all those strings you can like you can play around with the filters okay and let's move back to the main area so that i'll explain so once you do suggestions uh, you will be listed in the contributors section okay so how much see as as per here like these are the current uh, champions of this uh, localization they have been doing the localization from very much uh, like more than uh, one year ago like they have been act actually working on this project so whatever you do you will be uh, ranked accordingly how much translation you do just uh, whatever you'll suggest you'll your name will be uh, you, your name will be here so and on the info section you can find more details about joining this this particular team like how to join this particular l10 team there are particular guidelines you need to follow and there is particular training sections also this is the pontoon link the main uh, website like the main area of hindi project and this is a very cool website uh, which you can explore for your translation work so uh the these are the things you need to follow there are particular guidelines which uh, once you start doing it you will be contacted by the uh, hindi team uh, via mail or they have a particular uh, uh, telegram channel as well so uh, you can also join that channel i'll or i'll give the link to all the all the links in the description of this video so this is the uh, uh, tra mozilla transvision thing so let's say if you want to search and you do not know like what things uh, need to be written for particular things you search over here let's say firefox uh, no firefox will is the brand name so it will be written there itself so let's say i'll select some particular particular example let's move to hindi and let's say show me this recommendation let's say so i don't show me this recommendation so i'll say what is the hindi of recommendation if we want to see so there is nothing much to uh, google or something just head over here so type the recommendation here and from english to we want to translate in h i i n hindi so just search over here you'll find that how many have wrote let's say the the approved version of recommendation was sifarish so what you do just click over here and you can translate automatically uh, let's say here mujhe ya sifarish mat dikhao let's say this way this is the thing how you work and there are some uh, websites you uh, you can use to translate one is translate dot um, uh, bing dot bing dot com slash translator over here you can select this is the best way to translate and there is uh, google translate as well and when you you when you want to write let's say go to google dot translate let's say translate dot google dot com translate dot google dot com this is the area where you you can also translate particular thing and when you need to write something uh, in hindi as well like you know the hindi version of something and you want to translate so try input tool okay uh, there is a website called google dot com slash input tools where you can write yourself select here hindi and let's say i want to write tum kaise ho so i'll write t t u m there will be suggestion tum kaise ho okay so I, this is the uh, the best way to write hindi in uh, like from english to hindi because you you will be suggested and uh, uh, try to look for your particular system how things work in your particular os if you are if you are following on ubuntu i don't think there is much thing uh, apart from this input tool but uh, i'll there is a particular hack which i'll tell you later on or maybe i'll give you the link to uh, that particular description how you can type hindi in ubuntu 
but for uh, but for windows and mac like mac os there is a, a hindi a google input tool uh, which you can download it for your, to your system and change accordingly uh, for writing hindi and english it, you, it will be si similar to this so that's it guys this is this was the quick introduction of how to get started with pontoon and particularly to hindi localization that's it from my side thank you thank you for listening